Legend of Total War here, and today we're going to be playing some more Total War Arena. I'm going to be playing as Hannibal today, which is a Carthaginian general, and I'm going to be using War Elephants as my army composition. Once again, this video is sponsored by Wargaming, so special thank you to them for sponsoring the video. And uh, if you like the look of uh, the game, and you want to play it, and you haven't done so yet, uh, this is a free-to-play game. So check out the link in the description, use the code PLAYTWA, and that'll kickstart your, your uh, campaign with seven premium days and 500 bonus gold. All right, with that being said, let's jump into a battle. Took 17 seconds to find a match there, that's pretty good. Now I'd say that getting to elephants was quite a pain because Carthage's early armies, compositions, early units in tier one to five, really not to my strength. That's basically all spearmen. Uh, there was there was some uh, some Libya, Libyan infantry, which I probably should have gone for instead. Um, but it was a bit it was a bit tough to get to this point because I wanted to do this video with elephants. Okay, so we got a variety of different tiers with this. We have got tier eight, tier seven. This guy's got tier seven elephants. So from what I'm seeing here, we're at actually the lower end of the skill well, of the tiers here which basically means i got to be careful because if we've got tier 8 units or people on our side most likely there will be a tier 8 person on this side as well and we just want to stick to fighting either our tier or below our tier or else we're just going to get wrecked depending on the unit from what I've seen so far, elephants are really good at dealing with heavy infantry that aren't commanded by Germanicus. Um, spearmen, not really very good against pikemen, um, from what I've seen so far. Awful against archers, to be expected, and awful against um, artillery, because they're not really good at running units down. And that's sort of what you'd, what you'd want elephants to do if they were going up against missile units, because missile units just run away from you. But what you can do is just have one of your elephants chase down the missile units and hopefully the cavalry eventually catch them. It depends on the situation. Alright, I'm going to go straight up through the center, but I'm not going to stay up the front. I'm not going to make Hannibal's mistake at Zama and throw away elephants right at the start. Okay, so our ally has stayed close to us. I'd like to stay close to them in this battle here. Not spread out my elephants too, too much. I've found so far, like I've got limited experience using elephants, but I've found so far that elephants work better together than separated. So we go on force march so that we can keep up, and then, you know, when you're about to get into battle you just turn it off. So there's some elephants. Now, based on their equipment, their equipment's actually better than mine. You see that gold shield on top of there? I don't have that. They've got one extra bit of equipment that I don't have, even though we're the same tier of elephants. It's not that big of a difference, but it is something. That being said, our tier 7 allies here probably go and wreck them. Okay, they got they got artillery shooting at us from over there. Best we steer clear of it. Let's just come back over this way. We definitely don't want to be fighting in the forest. Elephants take massive penalties in the forest. Even though these are African forest elephants. I did want to stay near near him. But I want to stay away from that artillery. See how fast that's shooting? We don't want to be sitting around doing nothing, but I got I got to make sure I don't get killed. Okay, the enemy have got a lot of elephants. That's a big problem because I know how el strong elephants are. We've got more elephants than we do. Oh dear. Okay, I need to go and support him. I don't know how well we'll do. Uh, we've got tier seven elephants, but that the tiers aren't going to make that big of a difference. I think. I'm going to finish off that elephant there. I'm going to come in and assist. Our ally here is going to get wrecked if he doesn't get moving. If we don't get there soon. 
And then I'm going to get there and he's going to be gone. Is it stomp him? But with Pikeman support, maybe it won't be so bad. Okay, spread out. Because that stomp ability is area of effect. I don't want, don't want to get hit by all of them at once. Alright, our ally is gone. But, oh, we take friendly fire damage from Pikes now. When did that happen? I wonder if there was a recent patch, because I thought we don't take friendly fire from Pikes anymore. Feel the might of Carthage! Victors, do not hesitate! Alright, this unit here took a lot of damage, or at least we took out those elephants, but we're not exactly winning. That was pretty severe friendly fire we took. Get over here. I really don't want to be fighting in the forest. Elephants are really slow in there. But that's where the fight is. What's this? Okay, yep. Stompy, stompy time. Use as many abilities as we can. Oh, one elephant's dead, but that was that was bound to happen. It was pretty much gone anyway. Not stomp time. We got a we got a great opportunity here to do some damage. I've never seen elephants actually break in terms of morale. Right, once we're done here, I'll go back to the base. That looks like it's going uh, to happen quite quickly. Gotta get moving. It's too far away. They, th no one defended the base. Oh well, that happens. There's no way we're gonna win if it's coming that fast. We there's no one gonna get there in time. How do we do? Huh? How about that? Oh, well, I'll never get there in time. I might as well just try and get. No, it's too late. Oh well, it happens. Let's just jump into another fight. So I don't think I did a bad job there. I mean, we took out quite a few elephants, took a lot of friendly fire from those pikes, but overall, I think I did decent damage. We just didn't win. It happens. I really think that someone should stay close to the base, especially at the beginning of the battle. When I was playing with spears, you know, leading up to this, I did stay, I was a guy that stayed in the base. And it tended to work. It did make the battle boring, though. You know, I'd just sit in the base. And there was many times where, like, enemy cavalry were just coming in for the, for the camp, and I'm just like, nope, nope, not gonna let you do it. And then just turned around and went back to fighting someone else. Because you don't, you don't sometimes get enough time to get back there. You might be halfway 
in the middle of the battle. Not enough time to get back there to decap it. And then when you do get back there, you got to allow yourself enough time to, to actually decap. It's not like as soon as you go there, it fully decaps. Elephants are certainly not designed for, for base defense. You know, a spear, whoever was commanding a spear unit should have stayed, stayed behind. In my personal opinion, but whatever. Alright, let's have a look at the tiers in this. So we, again, we've got tier 8, tier 7, no tier 5s, so I'm at the lower end of the tiers. We'd assume that it's more or less mirrored over here. So we've got team of 3 here, team of 2, team of 2, so hopefully these 3 here will coordinate. I guess we'll just wait and see. We've got 2 loads of elephants here. See, are we lacking anything? Seems like we've got a fairly balanced force. Got missile units, archers, cavalry, spears. We don't have that many melee infantry, actually. This tier is probably not the best to have melee infantry because this is the tier where everyone's making use of their elephants. Where do I want to stand? I'm going to stand over here. or kill them all. Double time. All right. So once again, go on force march. There's no harm in doing that at the beginning. With you. They have first blood. What is this guy doing? A good job is what he's doing. It's, it's such an aggressive start, but it kind of paid off. Alright, I guess we're going aggressive. Let's go. Yeah, I'll go around this way, actually. Because mm. it seems like they're pretty weak on this flank here, but we have no idea what's out there. Hang on, hang on. we got melee infantry coming in here. This is Germanicus, though, so i got to be careful. Trying to get back across. Base will soon be ours. Hmm. Artillery over there. Probably surrounded by spikes, so not to be so easy to just jump in there. Oh, yeah, we want to steer clear of these these artillery. They're going to be aiming for us. They know how powerful elephants are. Damn, that only hit our tail and uh, absolutely smashed us. Let's get the hell out of there. Try to dodge them, try to dodge. Luckily, I know how to play dodge and rocks, but only against <laughs> accurate units. Uh, couldn't turn it around fast enough. Damn, we already took so much damage. Let's split up. Split up a little bit. Get involved there. Time marches on. Why delay? Battle awaits. War requires decisive action. Why delay? Battle awaits. All right, here we go now. Feel the might of carnage. War requires decisive action. The enemy base will soon be ours. Okay, they're using vengeance on us because I'm seeing him take a lot of damage there. You are the best of the best. Battle's going well, but I'm doing badly. It's like the opposite of the previous one. I'm down the bottom, but we're going to win. Why 
I delay, battle awaits. Our fury is unleashed. Our base is under attack. Parts away from me. Defend it. Victors do not hesitate. None can stand against us. Okay. They're not particularly good at finishing off enemy units. Oh, these artillery. This is why I really should have just stayed away from it. Because they're such a big target, easy to hit. You can try and dodge, but it's not going to happen. So I'd say I'm probably going to get eliminated real soon. Yeah, see, every single shot's hitting me. I shouldn't be doing this, but we're going to win no matter what I say. Okay, lesson learned. If you see artillery with elephants, just get away. And I'm probably going to be pretty close down the bottom. Yeah, I did awful on this battle. That's okay, it's a good learning experience. Artillery, don't stay in range of it. It just absolutely destroys elephants. Just figured I'd come in here and help them out, but it's not worth it. Not worth it if I'm just going to die so easily. Because the thing is with this, these guys are in a, like a really entrenched position, which means they're very unlikely to move out of their, out of their zone. At, this, at least at the early stage of the game. So if I stayed over here and helped out, maybe I could have, la I would have definitely lasted longer, but I could have been of more use. See, it's okay to like die early on if it's good for the team, but I don't think that was good for the team either. So if we have a look here, I didn't exactly do very much damage. And now we just get to watch the rest of the fight. Because I'm out. But very unlikely we're going to lose this. Very unlikely. I think... What I think they should do is get these archers over here. And get rid of those artillery. They almost single-handedly took me out. And they're probably going to smash these two elephants here now. Ah, uh, see, they recognize that this is the biggest threat, not the elephants. So they want to take out the archers now. Damn, this thing has got long range. What are you... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's actually attacking the stakes there. That's good. So he's only got one unit of infantry. They're stuck. I guess on the plus side of getting eliminated early, you get to just sit back and relax. Although I'd much rather be in the fight, helping out.
All right, that's almost over. So it's another victory. So it's the complete opposite of the previous one. I do terrible, but we win the battle. In the previous one, I do well, but we lose the battle. So how about we get one more, and let's try and do well, and actually win the battle as well. Alright, another match. Let's have a look here. So once again, I'm at the lower end of the tiers. That's three for three. Oh well, that happens. Much rather be at the upper end of the tier, because I feel like I can do a lot more that way. Um, two guys with elephants. It's a pretty balanced army. Between tier eight and tier six. Which means we're likely to see the same thing with our enemies here. Now this time I'm going to be... a a lot more careful about enemy missile units because they're the ones that wreck us. And try and steer, stay away from them. There's no horse archers in this game, so I don't have to worry about archers, you know, essentially being able to catch up to us unless we're already within range. Should be able to outrun them if they're trying to chase us. Definitely steer clear of artillery. They just wreck elephants. Whoops. Uh, where do I want to stand? Come over here. Right, the other elephants is down here. Let's go and support them. So how armored are these guys? So they've they've got fully upgraded tier six elephants. You can tell based on the little shield that's up there. Actually helps reduce um, the chance of them getting hit by a missile. Increases their missile block chance. I really don't think he should be up front. We have drawn blood first. So what do we got over here? Germanicus again? Okay. So they got some tier 7 elephants there, so their elephants are better than ours, but we might have more. Okay, missile units up here shooting at us. Well, not shooting at us, but shooting at them. You'll sleep when you're dead. Well, our guys are winning for the time being, but definitely would be good to wait for the missile units to get get eliminated first. I'm not really keen to just let these elephants rampage over, over my allies. They've only taken a little bit of damage, it's probably not enough for me to guarantee a win here, but... This elephant here has got lag behind, let's go take him out. Yeah, he's probably going to use stomp ability on us right away, so let's spread out a little bit. You go in and attack him. He doesn't want to. I don't think we're going to catch him. He's turned around. Okay, 
him. If you don't get in the archer's way, let them keep shooting the elephants. Alright, I'll go defend the base. Because we'll be good against this stuff here. Alright, better hurry up. Double time it. And since nobody else seems to want to do it, well, these guys are. But they might not be enough. Like, they might be able to slow down their capture, but I'll be able to kill them. About time we get to do something. Only winning by a small margin here, so we don't want to lose the uh, capture point. You come up through here, you two this way here. It's a good thing we did come down here. A lot of guys trying to take this. Why delay? Battle awaits. Damage, hang on, come over here. Use your, use your stampede on them. Actually, no, no, use the, uh, the stomp. None can stand against us. Time marches on. Victors do not hesitate. We will endure. We will prevail. Good, we're decapping. Decapping's worth points as well, so that's good. So, looking at that, we're doing pretty well. Taking a bit of damage here, though. Feel the might of Carthage. Victors, do not hesitate. Ooh, Hannibal's not looking good. How are they doing so much damage? Is, it, is that. Come on, get him out of there. Doing so much damage. Why delay? Battle awaits. War requires decisive action. Get in there. Show your true metal warriors. Still decent terms of points, but so is everyone in the team. Well, half the guys at least. So, as long as we keep the decapping going, looks like we're going to win this. We're still in good strength with this guy here, but Hannibal's in bad shape. So maybe, maybe just keep him out of it just for, just for now. It's, these guys can get a bit stuck, as to be expected from elephants. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here. Get him out. Hang on. Was oh, I selecting the wrong one again? Alright. See, when I click on the unit, I assume I'm going to use it, but sometimes it doesn't, doesn't click over. Just me not being experienced at this game. Or with elephants. Probably better off if I use one on two or three, but the problem is I don't know how to identify which is one, two, or three most of the time. Anyway, it looks like we've won. The enemy base will soon be ours. Show your true metal warriors. Okay, well, here's a problem. 
three elephants. Hmm. If I engage with them, we'll just die. The only thing I can hope to do is try to slow down the rate of them capturing the, our base. By avoiding them. Anyway, it looks like our allies over here are going to capture the base, so we're good. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, see, these elephants are going to come to us. It doesn't matter now, though. There's no way they're going to capture the base in time, so we can get into combat. It just doesn't matter. Good stuff. I'd say I did medium. Got a decent score. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video and that'll be the last sponsored video as well. Now I will do a couple more um, uh, Total War Arena videos. But uh, I'll probably go back to playing as Rome because that's what I like the most. So anyway, like and subscribe, and once again, if you want to play um, uh, Total War Arena and you haven't done so yet, check out the links in the description, and I'll see you next time.